This is a big one and can be a very difficult decision if it requires a big move. The hard truth is films are not consistently made everywhere. So there are three common factors of locations where film is thriving. Number one, film incentives and tax credits. Number two, a big airport. And number three, film infrastructure. Film incentives and credits. A tax incentive is a tax benefit offered by the state to save money on taxes owed. A film incentive can be any other perks like credits or spending incentives. Take a moment to Google your state's film commission website and see what their incentive is. And how does it compare to the other big players like California and New York? I'll post their tax incentives in the links below. I'll also be posting a link to the Georgia Film Office so you can look at Georgia's tax incentives as well. Producers and production companies get a certain percentage back on every dollar spent. It's a win-win. However, the political decision makers in your area may or may not agree a film incentive is a worthwhile endeavor. So do your research to see who is representing your area and what their stance is on film and the arts. Travel. LA and New York are the obvious big hubs for cast and crew. How easily can they fly in and out of those cities to where you are currently living? The thing that's great about Atlanta is we have an international airport, so it's super affordable and we have a lot of flights that go back and forth from LA to New York all the time. So this automatically sets Atlanta up a big step ahead of the game. Take a moment to look up flights in and out of where you live to California and New York. Are they affordable? How long of a flight is it and is it direct? Typically, most stories can be shot on stage with non-specific locations, i.e. homes, hospitals, police stations, um, school churches, those type of locations, which are, of course, everywhere. So it's only when a story calls for something really specific, like a certain uh, time period or uncommon landscape, do studios tend to grav gravitate outside of their normal sphere of locations. Traveling a whole cast and crew is obviously very expensive, but if there's not a sustainable film economy in the area, they're very likely going to have to send everyone over there. Whenever someone works outside of their normal jurisdiction, they get paid more than just their salary. These additional costs include 1. Weekly housing allotment or hotel costs 2. Daily meals 3. Per diem or a daily allowance 4 idle days, which is paid on work days for staying on location away from home. Five, travel days, which is the time it takes to travel there. And six, travel expenses, the actual cost of the ticket. And seven, car rentals. And film is a very fast moving industry. The actual production or time to film is the shortest stage of actually making a movie or episode. The pre-production and post-production stages are much longer. So there's a very specific amount of time allotted for filming. So it's important to get people where they need to be very quickly. Film infrastructure. This is a big one that sets apart states that have films that come in waves or if it's a consistent part of the economy. When looking at this factor, check out what vendors exist for the crew. We already talked about travel, so how many nice hotels are in your area? Stars like Margot Robbie aren't going to say just anywhere. Since I come from the art department, I'll quickly speak to the importance of having a great sign vendor with quick turnarounds and prop houses. And prop houses are great because they tend to have um, a wide a range of things and so it's a one-stop shop. And also you can save money by renting over purchasing. Oftentimes between picture wrap and when it actually comes out, there's a possibility for reshoots. And that means that the films have to uh, spend money on storing these items. So if they rent most of the stuff, then they don't need to spend as much money on storage. Camera lighting and sound are obvious must-haves. So are there any AV or audiovisual rental companies near you? Are there any stage spaces? Nearly every movie with a million dollars or more budget has a built set. 
And by a built set, I mean a set that's in a larger warehouse type of space and the set itself has a floor and walls and maybe a ceiling. Then of course, all the furnishings that go in for set decoration. And sometimes there can be electrical and water needs within that space. Because as a set, you know, everything's fixed. So you have to, you know, put power to the outlets, make the sinks actually work, etc. I'm not saying it has to be a sound stage necessarily, but it does need to be a large warehouse space or storage space with high ceilings to accommodate lighting, a sizable parking lot for the cast and crew and working trucks, and of course, elephant doors so those trucks can easily get in to unload, and ideally some sort of sound proofing. Set builds are very typical for rain cover, so if it's raining outside, you don't want to be able to hear it uh, on your takes on stage. So if you're at a location that doesn't have any sort of film infrastructure, then the tax incentive almost doesn't even matter because nearly everything will still need to be bought out of state and with uh, costly and expedited shipping. Take inventory. Please make sure to take the time to take inventory of all these elements before considering a move. If this decision does require a costly and far move from your family and friends, consider how that will be on your well-being. Are you single or do you have a family? Are you starting from scratch? Or maybe you know someone that has already made that jump, go ahead and give them a call and see how they like it. Also take into consideration the cost of living. Is it currently higher than where you were at right now? Will it require roommates to make it more affordable? And are you okay with that? No matter what, I highly recommend having at least three months or more worth of savings because more than likely you're not gonna get work right away. And don't forget, you can always try the Sister of Film and give theater a try, which is way more accessible nearly everywhere. There's an incredible amount of discipline and hours that go into making any production. And you really wanna make sure that that passion and sustainability is strong enough in you. So maybe consider playing on a local smaller field before making a more drastic change. You never know until you try, so get a taste before you jump all in. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what your biggest takeaways were, what questions you have, and please share this if you think someone can benefit from this information. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.